Sometime after the Dene first arrived in the area here, uh, some 2,000 years ago, they began to migrate down into this part of the, uh, the continent. And right now we are just uh, west of uh, present-day Cortez, Colorado, and uh, east of uh, Blanding and Monticello, Utah. And uh, from this area here, this used to be, as the Dene used to say, Denetra which means among the Dene. So this whole area was referred to as Denetha. And so our people lived in great numbers coming south from Grand Junction all the way along the Colorado River and all along the, uh, the edge of the mountains here to the uh, east of us. But they had a lot of herbs and various uh, plant foods. Here in this area, they used to say that this was the place where they could plant a lot of corn, a lot of squash, a lot of beans, and uh, other uh, types of edibles and that. And there's a lot of pinyon trees uh, out and towards the, uh, the north uh, east of us here. But also the great abundance of what is called a cliff rose awaits on, people don't understand that this particular plant had uh, a lot of value because of the way that the bark could be made to uh, blend with uh, animal fur for weaving and making clothing. Also it was used for bedding for uh, infants in their cradle board. Also as diaper material for the infants as well. And the uh, other thing is that they had it as a trade item, the bark part of the plant. But also it produces a very sweet fragrance. The cliff rose is something that a lot of people don't realize. It's, it's like uh, when it blossoms out, the fragrance is pretty much like honeysuckle. The old people have told us it grew in great abundance here. It was just something that, that was a trade item and that was used. And this particular area is places where there were several hundred what it would be storage places in that for various uh, plants like the corn and the beans and sometimes dried squash and uh, yucca fruit. The structures in that that are here were not for dwellings. These were uh, structures used for storage like silos. And so if you look at the structure, there are actually no doors in that. There are just small windows all around. And they were constructed in places where small critters couldn't get into the, uh, the stored foods. And so it was that they could put corn in there and they could keep it there for several years at a time. And uh, this is a trade route as well from, uh, from the south and from the uh, west and from the north and from the east as well. This is actually the very a place that was mostly referred to as the Netra. And uh, this was before that they began to have some real serious confrontation with other groups of people. To the northwest of here was where the Fremont people were. And actually the Fremont people exact, uh, became the Ne at some point. And same for other uh, groups of people. Over here the Maguillon people became the Ne. And there were many different uh, clan families in that that actually lived in this area. The teachings are that uh, the Netra eventually acquired over 147 different clan families came to be in one place. And this was the central area of the very early Dene. Eventually they went into the west coast and up into the northern part of, the, of this land area and over toward the Rio Grande and all the way down into the south toward the Sonora Desert. But the Netra was a very large area at one time and all of the different clan families and that have their own individual stories of places that they uh, occupied. The uh, other people in that that have come into the area, it was not until after some several hundred years that the Dene had occupied these areas and the many people that they came in contact with, many of them became Dene. Later on, there came another people that we call them now, Saza. And now Southern didn't come into the area until about 600 years after the Dene had been here in this area. And uh, they were further to the south, and their principal economy was the uh, slave trade. And so Hovenweep is really Dene. It has absolutely nothing to do with an Asaza. It's all Dene. And uh, to the uh, east of us here is uh, Depensa, which is one of our sacred mountains. And it is the one that is located here near uh, Mancus, Colorado east of Cortez. And so the teachings of our people, a lot of the information that we share with you go all the way up to the, uh, what we call, which would be the LaSalle Mountains. 
and off toward the uh, Green River. In fact, uh, Manuelito, one of our uh, principal chiefs in more recent history in the 1800s, was born in what is now near the uh, Green River or the Colorado River uh, in Moab, what is now Moab, Utah. And eventually he lived on the other side of what they call Distatlor, which is uh, the Abajo Mountains and the Bears Ears area. All of his people in that occupied places up all the way up into what is present day Green River, all the way up past the uh, up to the book cliffs and uh, coming in this, into this direction as well. And so it is that many of our people in that still passed on some of the information that was shared. Our people were removed from these areas in that sometime during uh, the, eight, the middle 1800s because in 1864 they did round up the, a large number of Navajo people, about 12,000 of them, and put them in captivity for four years. And during that four-year period, we're told that they explored all of the land areas that the Diné had occupied. And this was one of the land areas in that that was explored. And they were removed from this area because of the opportunities for a lot of planting in that. So from this point going north all the way past to the present-day Dove Creek and all the way up into the uh, LaSalle Mountain area is now no more lands that the Diné can occupy. And originally it was the Netcha. Nowadays, they have people that live and own and operate ranches and farms and all these different uh, ventures and that. So our people have been moved from the lands and that that were called the Nehta. Later on, of course, we began to call it the Nehbekeya, which is the, the soil beneath the feet of the Zene. And there was a lot of areas in that. So the Nehta is among the Dene, among the Dene people, the Nehbekeya is the land that is below the surface of the Dene. But this area here, what is called Hovenweb, was called the Netcha. And it is very important to understand that that is the traditional teachings of our people, of where our people located and lived for hundreds of years. And those are the things that we are told. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. Okay.